जयपुर अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन मुंबई वर्सेज आर सी बी दिस वॉज टाउटेड टू बी अ ब्लॉक बस्ट अ गेम बट इज जस्ट टर्न आउट टू बी अ वॉक इन द पार्क फॉर एम आई लाइक साइमन सेड इट वॉज अ बीस्टली विन फॉर मुंबई एंड लॉट टू चर फॉर द फेथफुल वांकिरे गोअर्स बिकॉज फर्स्ट बुमराह देन ईशान किशन रोहित शर्मा सूर्य कुमार यादव एंड देन हार्दिक चिपिंग इन जस्ट एवरी थिंग दैट मुंबई फैन वॉन्टेड मुंबई वन बाय सेवन विकेट्स इन जस्ट फिफ्टीन पॉइंट थ्री ओवर्स and we are here we have eaten our dinner very quickly and you are here to join your at trick buzz live i have got uh, simon and harsha with me you know I'm not used to these early finishes <laughs> <laughs> well early in terms of overs it's still sort of quarter yes. past 11 <laughs> in his other early avatar he used to get into the ring sometimes duly and if this was a boxing game the ref would have stopped it long ago mm. knockout you, it was a knockout but you just you just stop the bout when yeah. one side cannot put up a fight and i think you would have stopped it long back it's a very very long time since you see a com- as complete a takedown like this 196 is not to be scoffed at we did yes. say in the break yeah. that maybe they were short but i don't think any one of us saw this coming and i mean i'm just i just looked at those bowling figures <laughs> one man got 5 for 21 yeah, yeah. but this was i mean how how do you explain this just everybody having a bad day Look at look at the strike rates. Ishan Kishan is the lowest, and he made sixteen. Uh, no, Rohit is the lowest. Thirty-eight mm-hmm. of twenty-four, sixty-nine of thirty-four. Sky fifty-two of nineteen, twenty-one of six. Mm. It's just how do you explain it? Um, after two overs, RCB would have felt they were there or thereabouts. They mm. hadn't bowled badly. Uh, they hadn't been overly aggressive shots played. and then all of a sudden it just the the f- switch just flicked and i mean ishan kishan's takedown of siraj i think was impeccable um the way he is hitting the ball offside and leg side i think is is key um uh, we mentioned in the com box the first time rohit has ever been part of a 100 run opening stand in the history of ipl in 93 it just seems so unbelievable doesn't games. it you you look at it going really yeah, yeah. first time ever <laughs> yeah he's had a 100 run opening partnership in 93 innings uh but he could just sit at the other end and watch for for a little while and then he got into his game i think he was one of five at some at one stage robert so and and to a man they just came out and they were aggressive great to see surya back and and playing that way mm-hmm. again it was just yeah. phenomenal to watch uh it is so one sided in a game where you think 196 were in the game at halfway we might be 15 short they were 45 short yeah. and i you, think you might have mentioned actually at, yeah. uh, I, I, well it was more like the 230 game i yes. thought the, the, the surface probably said that it could have been that that same sort of score 230 and it probably proved to be at mm-hmm. least that yeah. but um when you get off to that sort of start I, it's just hard to stop mm-hmm. that side and you think about the power that didn't even walk out yes to bat David didn't Tim walk David, out. Mario Shamari, Shamari walked out. Nabi didn't walk out. Nabi once again the maximum <laughs> number of balls faced by batters 34 mm. in the game against Delhi Capitals when they made 235 maximum balls faced was 32. Yeah. And everybody is contributing. Mm. And that if if you look at look Ishan Kishan in form, Rohit Sharma in form, Sky in form, Gee, Hardik was hitting it crisply. Yeah, crisp. He was hitting it so crisply. Uh Tim David got runs the other day Shepherd in form so everyone's contributing yes. everybody's in form the moment they picked that team against Delhi Capitals you just looked at that side and said this is the one. watch out yeah. this is the side with one proviso that they needed one extra bowler the moment Hardik becomes a regular three overs bowler mm. i think this team is going to take some stopping mm. and you look at all the teams up the order uh, up the table they're all looking at this side now and saying oh okay mumbai has woken up again the dragons now. woken yeah. up yes mumbai is woken up again it's a sorry looking board isn't it for for bengaluru though 6 and 1 yeah it's just a tough road it's a tough road back from there 6 and 1 Ooh, i don't know how they it, i don't know how it, they recover from that i mean i don't want to say this because i i 
worry and I feel for the RCB fans. But Simon, does this look like it's the end of the road or is there just some miracle that could save them and get them back? It's 95% gone. Mm. Uh, They need a miracle. Uh, This is a tough, tough tournament. Every side you come up against has the ability to take a game away from you at some stage with certain players. And it doesn't matter what team you look at. There is a team there that can take a game away from you at some stage. So when you're asking yourself to win, what, seven? Mm. Probably seven of your last eight games? Yeah. And and still depend on the strike rate, even a- if absolutely. we... Yeah. So that, it will that, be that, winning seven yeah. and, then, and then look at the I net mean, run rate. If you're winning, your net run rate's going to, generally going to improve a little bit. Um, if you have big wins, obviously it improves a lot, but it's taken a huge dent tonight, courtesy of that hammering. And, and the KKR hammering. Don't forget, they yes. were hammered two, twice now. Yeah, absolutely. Two hammerings. And just so. to put it in perspective, look, Mumbai Indians have had a big win today. They're still minus. Mm. Mm. Way minus in their net run rate yeah. because of that uh, match against Rajasthan Royals. Yes. So when you get a couple of matches like this, it's mm. damn tough to come back. And I'm just seeing who they have coming up. They've, they've got SRH home and away and KKR. They've got to win those three games and then they've got back-to-back with GT. Yes. They've just got to say, we, want, we need to win those five games. Yeah. Mm. But uh, before we get to RCB, I want to look uh, look at that batting card again because it's just a beautiful sight uh, for MI fans. Like you said, everyone has contributed. To start with, one by one if we can, because everyone needs to be spoken about. I'd like to start with Surya Kumar Yadav because, you know, he's, he was just that missing piece in the puzzle. We wanted him to come back into form for MI, for India. And those risks, Simon, I've said it time and again, those risks need to be insured because that six over covers and that flick there and just his wrist is so flexible. When you're hitting it leg side and offside as powerfully and square of the wicket Mm -hmm. and it's not pull shots, they're full deliveries that he just flicks Mm. over the square leg or the backward square boundary and then he got that wide one, was it Topley? Bold him that wide full one and he's just hit it into the first tier off the front foot probably just inside the wide line, with immense power. Uh, that's what he can do. A- and my goodness, he's good to watch. When, he, when he's going, he is great to watch. He got out to a pretty poor shot in, in the yes. last game. But he's just, he, he almost settled himself in today. Mm-hmm. Hit a couple along the ground, picked up a couple of twos early on, uh, and just settled in. And once he flicked the switch... <laughs> I love how Simon like, says, he settled in with a couple of twos. Yeah, <laughs> Simon, yes. but but got, yeah I know. But that, that's what, that's he, what the game is wasn't now. Like, wasn't like a couple of yeah. top balls, was it? Uh-huh. He settled in with a couple of twos along the ground. And just, because he made that 50 of 17 balls yeah. look like... 17 balls was 40 because mm. it, it's 17 balls. It's hardly anything for that 50. I actually must ask him if he even toweled himself afterwards because he was just so cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, Vilko, with whom we spent a lot of time, Alan Wilkins, would say about Zahir Abbas that he would score 100, 150 not out. He said he would come out and just take his gloves off like that and just mm. sit there, not a bead yeah. of sweat. And I look at Surya, he looks so cool. He's just so cool. Mm-hmm. And he's hitting it like... Yeah, I mean, I know I was away for a while, but here I am. Yeah, yeah. he said, here I am. And we spoke about Ishan Kishan in the pre-match show and how, you know, he needs to convert to bigger scores. He heard our pre-match show. Everyone listens to Crick Buzz Live. He heard our pre-match show because at 64, Rohit didn't get enough strike to start with because of the uh, he's got this 69 of 34 balls, I'm sorry, because he was just hitting it all across the park. And I like Ishan Kishan Harsha when he's hitting the ball both sides of the ground. When he's hitting the ball over extra cover and widish long off, he looks such a good player. Then when he holds his shape doesn't lose that shape and look just to is go that, leg Is side. that the difference that you saw in the last two innings, that he's holding his shape? Holding his shape a lot better. He's not falling over and just looking to bludgeon at leg side. He's actually holding his shape. He's lining up bowlers. And if it's outside his eye line, mm. he's actually opening that blade and hitting the ball very well yes. through widish mid-off to backward point. And that's a big thing for me when Ishan Kishan does that. It's when he goes searching uh, and he's a great reactionary batter. But when he predicts or Mm -hmm. looks for something that's not there, I think that's when he's at his worst. He's got all the time. He's such a skillful player. And if he just reacts Mm. rather than goes looking, he gets enough balls that he can hit in different directions. And, you know, you think about the leg side ones, the one of Siraj in particular that he clobbered into the second tier was phenomenal. But I I love watching him when he actually accesses the offside as much as the leg. And uh, I just wonder whether... The length of that batting lineup has freed him up to go and do yes. what he wants. Saying go, go right away. In, in all fairness, they didn't go right away today. Three overs, they made twenty-three. Mm-hmm. So if you look at this card, they got it. They got what one hundred and ninety-six and sixteen overs. 
The first yeah. three years was about 23. Yeah. And then it, it's almost as the plumber was working <laughs> on it and t- yes. <laughs> the line was open again. Yeah. Ah, it was scary. So he's got that license to go. It's taking a lot of pressure off Rohit Sharma. And then everyone just flowing after mm-hmm. that. But also, Even Tilak Varma, if you've seen the game yes. against Sunrisers, he scored, he got a very quick 52. But you know, just Ishan Kishan, you, you all spoke about how free he looked. Uh, you know, we know what he's gone through. He's spoken about the mental health, the, no central contract. for a. He's still very young if yeah. you see his age. So I hope sometimes, sometimes it happens to all of us, sometimes a little kick up the backside is not a bad thing. Hmm. And I don't know what went into the situation that happened with the... With Ishan Kishan, but if it was a rap on the knuckles, if it was a little kick on the backside, it's working, and it's not such a bad thing in a career. Mm. He's such a young man because his career is ahead of him, mm. not behind. So if that helps him focus a little bit more, if that just makes him aware of why he entered the game, why he mm. started playing the game, what he wants from the game, that might still be the best thing that happened to his career. Might have reignited something. If he is batting like this, there are few batters, few yes. left-handers yes. more destructive than him when he's batting like this. The last thing you want is for any young player is for this tournament to be the pinnacle. Mm. Uh, look, it's an amazing tournament. It's, it's yeah. life-changing. But the last thing you want for any young Indian player is for this tournament to be the pinnacle. You want that blue True. shirt yes. with, with the orange India on it. Mm-hmm. That's what you want as your pinnacle. That should be every young cricketer's goal. And if this tournament is their goal then that's an issue. Mm. And I think that's probably where Ishan Kishan had got to. And maybe he needed it, as Harsha said. Maybe he needed that little jolt to say, hang on a minute, you know, you take away a central contract, all of a sudden you get injured, Mm. you don't get paid for this tournament, that tournament, then where's your money coming from? Where's your next silver chain coming from? (laughs) Uh, You know, so you start to worry about things like that. You get it straight. You get it straight. Simon, you are so middle class. (laughs) What did you just say? Where is your next? Silver chain. Silver. Silver chain. Yeah. He's a silver man. He's not a gold man. I would have said gold chain if he was. I would have said diamond rocks. Well, maybe so. Okay. Where's your next? It it looks silver, but with Simon, we know he hits the bull's eye all the time. (laughs) Be it the prediction or be it just giving the opinions as they are. Oh, dear. Okay. Before before we get to clapping for Simon, <laughs> I want to clap for the partnership that Rohit and Ishan yes. had. We will get to the applause of Simon doubly later. Uh, okay. But this partnership, Brilliant. 103, and we see Ishan Kishan 69 of 34 mm. there. Uh, sorry, 101, and uh, Rohit mm. Sharma 29 of 19. So we know who's done the heavy lifting. Yeah, but that's fine because if you've got one guy, and we talk about this so often, you know, Rohit's still striking at 160. Correct. Uh, one, one, <laughs> you know, so there's no issue with that at all. It's just the other bloke's going at 200. Yes. Uh, and so that's absolutely fine. And in a power play, they're breaking the, you know, you're breaking the back of a 190 run chase Yeah. in the power play. Uh, it was just. As Harsha said, three overs, they were 20 or 21? 20, 23, 23, 23 yes. after three overs. And you were, we were all sitting there thinking, geez, we've all got our predictions wrong. <laughs> we're, all a bit, we're all a bit high. Uh, but lo and behold, one, fa- you know, one fantastic over of hitting and then they're both away. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it was, it was a joy to watch that partnership. To it, put it things really in perspective, Rohit scored at 160 mm. or thereabouts, which was the asking rate. Mm-hmm. A 160 game yeah. is a 192 game. Yeah. So... If Roy is scoring at 160, he's scoring at par. He's not yes. using a balls and scoring below. He's scoring at par and he is looking slow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so even though one person is going hard, the other person is still playing to par. Mm-hmm. Which was the great thing about that partnership. And again, Rohit was just, has been looking so fluid, hasn't got that 50. But today you can't count that as a wicket because that catch was, he just (laughs) plucked it out of thin air, Reese Topley. I don't know how he managed that. He's a tall guy. Yeah. Very tall. He was, I think, very shocked with the catch himself. Well, he's a left-hander as well. Mm -hmm. So it's gone to his right, his his perfect side, which is his left side. Not many others are getting there. Um, You've either got to be incredibly quick on your feet to get there or be very, very tall. Reese Topley's six. Five and, and a half, six, six. Mm-hmm. It doesn't least. matter once you get there. Uh, and it was only just in the fingertips too. And to actually have the strength in your hands to hold on to it when it just hits the fingertips was uh, very good. There was another one that he only he could have got his yes, fingertips too, I think, earlier, wasn't there? Mm. Uh, so, yeah, you get out to a brilliant catch. It's yeah. going to happen now and then. But um, uh, they, were, he, they were both brilliant. The two openers were, were fantastic. Well, as uh, impressive as uh, Mumbai's batting was, the bowling card for Bangalore was just as unimpressive, if I can say. We'll have a look at the bowling card and those economies there, Simon. 
And you don't want to be a bowler on this day, do you? <laughs> no. You don't want to be a bowler well, in, in, rates, in Mumbai. Rates. You, you don't want to be a bowler in Mumbai, full stop, unless your name's Bumra. Uh, because even even when we looked at the at the Mumbai bowling attack, the, their seamers went about the park. Every seamer has, has gone the distance. But Maxwell won over for 17. I mean, inside the power play, not easy. They thought it might have been a nice matchup to the left-handers, I would have preferred Jax because he takes more pace mm. off the ball and takes it away from the bat a little bit more. Maxwell was just firing it in and Ishan Kishin's just sitting back and going, I'll have some of that over long on. It wasn't uh, it wasn't difficult for him, I, I didn't think, but with the pace that Maxwell was bowling. And it takes an enormous amount of courage to float the ball up mm. and bowl it wide, but that was probably, it might have been a better option for one or two balls in that over. It was, it, it was when economy is uncontrolled, that was the inflation rate. <laughs> Can you imagine that the most economical bowler is above 10 and over? Yes. Mm. And is it just the surface? Is it just the skill? Or is our game now starting to go somewhere else? Maybe the impact player, but the impact player wasn't needed. Yes. Maybe the comfort that the impact yeah. player provides. But our game is going somewhere else this year on surfaces mm. like these. And we're going to have to do something. I mean, yesterday, I, you all would have probably heard it or seen the text. I'm, I'm talking to Shubman Gill and to Rashid Khan. And they said, yeah, we wanted to get it to 45 of three overs. Mm. He said, thereafter, two people batting, each makes 22 of nine. 22 of nine means one hits two sixes, the other hits two sixes. Yeah. Thereafter, you just knock it around. We only need yeah. to hit four sixes. They're breaking it down and making it seem ridiculously simple. Something has changed in the yes. mind mm. and something is changing about our game. And... I mean, if, if you're going to chase 196 like this, today was probably a 260, 270 day if they'd been, mm -hmm. they'd continued like that. And I was just joking the other day that 277 might be reached. They would have. Yes, they could The have. last over and Andre Russell was batting in that game started with 14 to get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they would have got 280 that day. So I don't know where our game is going. Simon, is it just bad bowling? Is it freeing of the mind? Is it just a completely flat deck? Yeah, there's a bit of combination. It's due as well today. It's due as well today. I mean, Joy and I have talked a little bit about the fact that we have to lift our expectations of bowlers' economy rates yes. with the impact player. I think that's made a difference, and, and sides are using that better as well now. We're, we're seeing uh, all the teams, I think, have better use this year. They understand the impact player more, so it deepens the batting lineup. It frees up the guys at the top because they've got some mm -hmm. security. You know, you, as long as you've got security at six, seven, eight, one, two, three can be as free as they like. And I, I think that is certainly changing things. Um, what I do like in some ways, though, is that we haven't seen every pitch around the country be flat. We've seen a couple of low-scoring yes. games, yeah, a couple of just lower scoring do, yeah. encounters. So I like that there's a, a bit of a difference. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see these sort of pitches all over the country because Ooh. bowlers will just... I mean, they won't come back. <laughs> they'll, just, they'll decide yeah. that they won't, don't want to go in the auction again. Uh, but, so as long as around the country the surfaces are slightly different and we do get to see the odd one that turns, mm. uh, we do get to see the odd 155, 160 game, I don't mind that. Uh, but it's, it's tough and, and the batters are so much stronger. The bats are so amazing. And, and it just Simon makes the point, the batters yeah. are stronger. Mm. It's not only the bats. Mm -hmm. It's just that they're stronger yeah. and the mind has been unshackled to play into areas that were considered no-go areas, yeah, yeah. especially with Sky. True. You're hitting balls in no-go areas, mm -hmm. no-fly zones. You're not allowed to go there. <laughs> yes. But now you're discovering, hang on, you can. Mm -hmm. And what batters are now saying is, the boundary there is 72 meters, 73 meters. The boundary there is 70 meters. Straight is about 74 meters. There and there is 57, 58 mm -hmm. meters. So I'm basically, I'm getting a six for 14 meters less. Mm -hmm. So can I start to hit the ball there much more? And you look at Sky. Sky is accessing the shortest parts of the ground all the mm. time. And I think we're seeing this development in the mind. And bowlers have to come up with something. Not yeah. everybody is a boomerang. And what Boomerang did today yeah. was just... I, I, I think it was the equivalent of scoring a 140, 150 in a 220 game. Yeah. Yes, 100%. absolutely. I mean, he's got to be the player of the match. Hands down has to be the player of the match. In a high scoring mm. game, if they give it to a batter on a flat surface, I will, I will find whoever gives it to them. <laughs> And give them a right kicking. <laughs> he'll get he'll get the boxing gloves on then. He'll Honestly. get those boxing gloves on. It, he's got to be. Should, please tell, tell me. Tell me. <laughs> is he player of the match? Tell me. Come on. But you me. know, Harsha, you said that something has changed about this game, and we can see it in the season. But something about the Bangalore bowling is just not changing because <laughs> we've started the season. Michael was saying you cannot win. Simon said this as well that you cannot win tournaments with this bowling lineup. 
So what do you do? Because how, what do you change around in that bowling now? You know, every year, year upon year, they pack their batting. Yes. They just pack their batting. And increasingly, as the world moves to a batting-centric game, it's the bowlers who will become more important. Because any of the batters are coming. I mean, the only game that they won was because Lomroar and DK went and mm -hmm. did it. So more and more, if you say, I'll invest in my bowling, I've got a better chance. But RCB has always invested in batters, very box office, you know, big batters. I mean, that's if you haven't won in 16 years. And... Sad to say, I mean, I, 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 I bear no grudge against them. I have, no, I have no feelings about them. But I think it's going to be 17 years. Well, like you said, it looks like it's the end of the road. But Simon, as a bowler, mm. what does one do? You, we know that the game is changing. You know that you said there are different kind of pitches that you're seeing. The two-bouncer rule has been uh, involved. Siraj, I feel, is something which RCB will feel very hurt with because he's somebody who has all the potential, again, very expensive today. What advice would you have for someone like a Siraj? Yeah, look, his line was off today, um, completely off, I think, to, to Ishan Kishan. What, where do you want him to hit the ball more often than not? Um, you want him to hit it back towards you. So anything you get too much leg side, he just freezes arms. Um, but more often than not, it's the length. And Pat Cummins has shown us. Yes. Boomer shows us when he gets it right. Um, the length is key. You know, it's, it's more, I just think you've got to make batters hit the hardest shot in the book. The hardest shot in the book is the good test match length, mm. hitting it back down the ground or trying to make room. So if you're hitting the top of off stump nowadays, I actually think that's more of a recipe. Yes, you must have slower balls. You've got to have options. You have to be able to use that bouncer. But I, I just think if you're trying to do too much, maybe it's more back to the old school generation of, of just keeping it simple and trying to bang away on a good hard length, have a couple of slow ball options, maybe a knuckleball and an off cutter. If you've got that ability, have a Yorker, mm. have a bouncer. Um, but you cannot be predictable as far as your field sets are concerned. And if, you, if you've got a field set, then you've got to bowl to it. You, you've got to find a way to bowl to it, even when you're under pressure. And look, bowlers are going to be under pressure. It's, mm. it's a high pressure situation, especially when you're going around the park. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's ever easy, but there are a few that get it right and you have to look at why they get it right and, and what they do. You know, I, I was so happy with the two bouncer rule. Mm. I think we now need one more thing. Somebody needs to study cricket balls and get white cricket balls to swing a little bit more. You look at Siraj. When is Siraj at his best? He's at his best when the red ball is swinging. Mm. When the ball is swinging, he's a world-class bowler. But these balls, the only one who swung it consistently is, is Trent Bolt. He's consistently bowled those first spells better. But even his ball stops swinging towards the end yes. of the second over. So I think we've got, I don't know whether it means getting the equivalent of a Duke's white ball. Mm. Mm. But I think we need balls that swing a little bit more, swing into the power play. Even if they swing for six overs, mm -hmm. then the uh, equation between bat and ball will change. Mm. It'll be two heavyweights boxing with each other, not a 12th standard kid yes. against a 3rd standard kid. Mm. So somehow we have to find a ball that will do a little bit more and allow the bowlers to come in. So someone like Siraj at the moment, he's not a boomerah. Yes. But he needs the ball to swing. If it's not swinging, he's just bowling straight lines. It's going back faster than he bowls it. Yeah, the Duke is a, a, not a bad option because mm -hmm. at least it's also got a seam on it. Yeah. That might just nip around a you little bit. What a swing ball yes. is. Yeah. At least, <laughs> at least, got at a least a swing ball. <laughs> Whereas the you know the other, the, the kookaburra just doesn't have a seam. They're playing on, the so. kookaburra in England in county cricket. Yeah. In April, mm. first match of the season, there's a triple hundred yeah. scored, because what Ouch. the Duke's ball was doing there, mm. as Michael was explaining to us, it's getting 125, 126 bowlers to yeah. nibble around to the Duke's mm. ball all day and get wickets. Mm -hmm. So maybe we need to go the other way here and get a ball with a pronounced seam yeah. that swings a lot. I think uh, the bowler in the house is looking at you very seriously because he's going to write this petition down. <laughs> I've seen that Simon has a whole lot of petitions that he wants to write down. Uh, but uh, they have heard you, Simon. They, Like I said, everyone on Crick Buzz uh, and listens to uh, Crick Buzz Live and they've given Bumra the man of the match. Uh, I'll tell you, so if they hadn't given Bumra the man of the match, there would have been a revolt across the cricketing fraternity <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> And we would have had uh, one person shot on the show Correct, because yeah. I think I he would have up gotten up and left <laughs> and we would have had to continue without Simon because I could see him very angry. Uh, but 
not for RCB but for MI I think uh, they behaved like it was just a very cool day uh, and everything was just so normal when it was actually hot and humid uh, but everything was just very cool and calm for MI so let's have a look at the carrier room air conditioners coolest moment of the match. Uh, for MI, lots of cool moments to uh, pick from. I don't know if you'll have thought of yours, but just the way Sky played, Bumrah at the top, uh, Rohit, there's just so much to choose from. Yeah, you but think about, one. for me, you think about matchups, best on best, scrimmage, best against best, Bumrah getting Kohli. Hmm. Yeah. Fifth time, that, fifth yeah. time today. Uh, that's, that, that sets the tone for the game. Uh, and that's, uh, that's my coolest moment of the match. The bowler has chosen the moment. <laughs> I was actually thinking of the Yorker he bowled to Lombroer, mm. but in the form that Bumbra is in, that was almost an unequal contest. <laughs> because I was just thinking mm. Yorker, Yorker, and boom, onto his mm. ankle. But uh, there was tension when we were watching, and you could see that Co Kohli was out there ready to take on, on mm. Bumbra. It was a battle of egos as much as a battle of skills. It was beautiful to watch. So for both of you all, it's going to be the Kohli wicket. That look, it's got. tempting to pick a shot from Sky. Sky is one of I'm, I'm okay, going I'll Sky go with because Sky then. he's just such a yeah. cool person. He, and when he plays that open face shot over backward point for six, it is just a shot that's his own. Mm. And then that chewing of the gum, which reminds us of the great <laughs> yeah. Vivian Richards. There'll be but two cakes today. There'll be a cake that we had today for GK's birthday, and there'll be a cake in Devanshi's cake. In, 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 yes, his <laughs> wife will make him a cake today. All right. So these were uh, our cool moments. But let's have a look at uh, what the fans have written in. Uh, like I said, a lot of MI fans writing in with a lot of cool moments. Was a fair Your, uh, is an RCB fan. Um, so Fonseca says. Um, Dinesh Karthik's three consecutive reverse scoops of Madhwal is my favourite moment of the match. I mean, the C uh, Krik Buzz Live office agrees with you there. Uh, Mitesh says Ishan Kishan six over cover. Ooh, that was a beautiful mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Rajput says watching Sky return to his beast mode in T20s. Uh, we agree with that. Sky with his beast mode as well. No. You use the word beast. Yeah, yeah. I, look, I don't mind that. I, I think um, the shot over cover point or yeah. point was phenomenal for mm -hmm. mine. I mean, we've seen him do the wristy ones over the leg side and the scoops many times, but that was a shot of high quality. So I'm happy to I'm happy to run with that and have uh, Boomerah as second place. Okay, like I said, there were just way too many cool moments today. So, we've given uh, Simon two because we know he's won two things today. We'll get to that. Uh, these were our carrier room air conditioner. Coolest moment of the match. Uh, I think we need to now have a look at that points table again. Not so much for the RCB fans because like we've spoken, one out of six... Mm. It's a tricky one. It's, no? it's a miracle that they made. RCB have had some of the finest minds associated with their cricket. And not one of them has been able to crack it. Dinesh Karthik said this year, Mo Bobat and uh, Andy Flower, he said they are outstanding people to work with him, with their planning is perfect, everything is fine. And yet, they've actually started 1-5. Mm. So something is not working mm. there. And you can't go into saying, oh, you know, the sentimental people say, oh, maybe they're cursed, or maybe there's something there, or maybe there's something there. That doesn't happen in sport. Something is not working there. Mm -hmm. And I think it could be as simple as saying, and we've not picked a side, so it's easy to say, is strength in your bowling. So a lot for them to work on in the mega Loads. auction then. Oh, they will they, be going back to that uh, drawing board. Uh, they, I think they, they got it wrong at the auction. Yeah. They just got it wrong. Duty, yeah. And, um, you know, Mo Bobak came with a, a, a reputation of, of getting a few things right. I mean, I, look, England cricket haven't developed a fast bowler in the last 10 or 15 years. Mm. You know, and he's been, he was in charge of their sort of their growth program for, for the last five, six, seven years. But I'm not sure they've developed any great fast bowlers. I mean, they, they've relied heavily on Broad and Anderson. So, you know. Yeah. Um, the best actually grew up in, in the Caribbean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean... Is the reputation justified or not? I don't know. But um, they, they, again, they couldn't pick a bowling unit. They just did not get it right at the auction table. So, and bowlers win your tournaments. Say it time and time again. Batters win your matches, bowlers win your tournaments. And that's what you need nowadays. And we've talked about the quality of batting, quality of bats. 
So what do you need? You've already got batters. You've already got batters. Mm -hmm. You just need a bowling attack. I haven't been able to find one. Well, yes. uh, to all the RCB fans, you know, it's very difficult, but like we said, miracles can happen. I think we all need to hope and pray for those RCB fans that there is some miracle because that's only something that can get them down, uh, get them out from that bottom table. MI fans can celebrate and be very happy because like Harsha said, they've woken up. Let's have a look at what's happening tomorrow because there are two teams uh, playing who are both uh, going for that hat-trick, Lucknow and Delhi. Match number 26, uh, Lucknow wanting a hat-trick of wins and Delhi not wanting a hat-trick of losses. Uh, both these teams, again, Delhi at the bottom of the table, Harsha, it just not come together for them, you know. As, as Simon said about the auction, I think Delhi haven't recovered mm. from that auction. You know, look at Lucknow. Who, what are the teams we talk about? Just very quietly. The dark horse. Right yeah. under the surface. No one's noticing them. And they're skimming along. They've won three out of four. Mm -hmm. They've got a team that's got a lot of all-rounders. One day, the, they got a slow track. Krunal Pandya suddenly did well. One day, Nicholas Puran goes and finishes it. But they are very much below the radar, under the radar kind of team. The stealth fighters. Mm -hmm. They're just going along very quietly. They beat DC now. They're... they're Contenders uh, to top to top the yeah. table, but if DC lose today, no, I think I think Ponting's going to his wine business again. Yeah, it's tough for DC, isn't it? I mean, it's going to be very tough because yeah. very look, tough. he's been with them for two or three yes. years mm. now. He's overseen yes. the transition from Shreyas Iyer to Rishabh yeah. Pant, mm. and he's so frustrated. I mean, I, I can mm. see him. I, I see him around. Yes. He's he's a good coach. Make no yeah. mistake, he's a good coach. Mm. He's so frustrated. But it, it, it's tough. It's tough for for Delhi. It's tough for. You know, you lose key players. I mean, obviously Mitch Marsh is mm -hmm. uh, injured again, which has happened, I think, every time he's come to the IPL, which, you know, I mean, and, and he's got a history of injuries, which is, it's tough for him to take, but he's a risk. As soon as you pay big money for that man at an auction, he's a massive mm -hmm. risk. Yes. Uh, both sides have now lost really key players. Mike Yadav is, yeah. uh, we're hearing, is gone from mm -hmm. um, luck now. That, that side strain is is lucky to uh, recover it all before the end of the tournament so they've oh, lost key players. you feel he be out for that long? Well, uh, knowing side strains, they're just so difficult to recover from. Um, you know, and I just don't see, I don't see him recovering before the end of the tournament to, to be able to bowl the way he was bowling. Mm -hmm. So that, that could be a huge loss uh, from their point of view. So you've got one side going well with an injury concern and one side going really poorly that have got a major injury concern. So. I don't know what Delhi do wrong. I don't know. I don't. Again, we. I think you guys did the auction. I talked after the auction. They didn't have a great time of it there. No. It seemed like they were a little bit. They missed they out on a couple of key people that they wanted, and then didn't really know where they were going. And they let go a lot of people in mm. in, in between. Almost mm. eleven people. Yeah, like they let yeah. go Sol. They let go Powell. So if you see on paper, I thought mm. immediately after the auction they were among the most powerful top six. Mm. That uh, Warner, Shaw, uh, Punt. They had Rothman Power. They had. Uh, we'll have a look at the squad and. They had a couple. Just, they had a couple more big there. hitters. And it's come to a stage now where their best-looking batter actually at the moment is Tristan Stubbs, mm. Mm. and he's going to be a serious player if he continues like this. But Mukesh Kumar got injured. Khalil Ahmed has bowled well off and on, and Anrik Nokia. I think they've sent a doppelganger. Mm. It's very <laughs> difficult to come out of injury, the kind of injury he's had. But he's going at 13th and over. And in the last over, you, uh, I've seen some numbers. I don't want to repeat those numbers of how many runs he's gone in the last four overs. Uh, you, did you say this is Ricky's third year, is that right? No, and more, more than that. He's been there uh, longer than that. Yeah, longer than but that. that. I mean, so at, at the end of like a, a, a three-year cycle, you would like to think you've built a bit of a team around your franchise and you've got it right. And, and they just don't seem to have got that right at this stage so look it's tough I mean they, they lose it they're, they're done as well aren't they I mean they're, they're sort of and, and the yeah, they no, done. no the okay. tournament doesn't need that yeah I mean the tournament doesn't need RCB to be where they are as well I mean but the bottom line is I've said it time and time again these sides are all good you know and if you have an off day if you have a bad day you're going to come second and, and if you have too many bad days you'll find yourself well and truly out of the race mm -hmm. for the top four and that's we're getting to that point with two teams already just into week yes. three you know, by universal franchise consensus, Andrik Nokia is a world-class bowler. I don't think there's anybody who will dispute the fact that Andrik Nokia is a world-class bowler. He's bowled four times. He's bowled the 20th over. Mm -hmm. Guess how many runs he's gone for? 102. Whew. 
Wow. 102 wow. runs bowling the 20th over four times. That is how unforgiving this league mm. is. That's what just puts things in perspective with this league. You got what Ashutosh Sharma comes out of nowhere, Swapnil yeah. Singh yes. comes in, they're winning you games. Yeah. So this is a very tough tournament. And uh, yeah, De Delhi are just at the receiving end of it. I think, I think uh, Ricky said he was almost embarrassed mm. by... by and, the and for a very proud yeah. winner, mm -hmm. I mean, he, you know, he's a winner. Yes. He's a real winner. Everywhere he's, everything he's done has, uh, in cricket has been about winning. One of the greatest players to have, mm -hmm. you know, to have played the game. And for a proud Australian winner to be swallowing that bitter pill, I think day in, day out, he'd be doing it really tough. He'd be doing it really tough. You know, you, you spoke about how Lucknow has been just kind Lying of that under, dark yeah. horse. But he, they remind me of a certain country called New Zealand in the World Cups. Because everyone just seems to consider them the dark horse. And they're always there playing the semi-finals or the finals. But Lucknow has been that kind of a team. Is They're not so spoken about because the attention in the Bangalore and the Mumbai and Rajasthan. So they've not sp been spoken about so much. KL Rahul's been very impressive because the last three games, they've managed to defend a score which not too many yeah. people thought they would defend. And of course, without their star bowler, the uh, young kid who's been bowling at 157, so they've missed Mayank. So clearly, things going right in that camp. And I wonder if all the home games hereafter will be those 150, 160 kind of games because they might have an attack that would be suited for that, especially if Mayank Yadav is gone. I'd like to see Mohsin Khan come back again. He's had a couple of good games. Yash Thakur has had, has had a good game. So they've got the bowling with Ravi Bishnoi, with uh, uh, Krunal Pandya bowling well. So th th they're doing enough to mm. win 160, 170, yeah. 180 games. I won't be surprised if all games in Lucknow are like that. And they give me the impression they're very happy to fly under the radar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Simon uh, Lucknow put out this uh, little funny uh, reel about KL Rahul yeah. joking about his I, own strike rate. I thought it was rate. very funny. I thought yeah, it was very, thought it was very oh, really? sporting of him, very, very sporting yeah. of him as so well. So some, someone comes to him and says, you're going to be the next defence minister. He said, you, you appear to be the defence minister. <laughs> and he said, so you are, you're, you're making fun of my strike rate again. He said, no, because you're defending 160 totals all the time. So it was yeah. self-deprecating, oh, nice. took a dig at themselves. Yeah, lovely, lovely. And yet, uh, yeah. I thought it was well done. Yeah. So, but do you think that's yeah. the only thing maybe they'd want to change around is Rahul going a little quicker? Well, if you're winning, no. Mm -hmm. And I, I say it time and time again, as long as they're in winning causes and if you're batting to the conditions that deserve that sort of score or you think it's even above par, um, I, I don't mind it. Uh, you know, I mean, yes, they've, they've defended, he's batted first, so you probably want a little bit more, but you've still got to have batters around you uh, and at some stage he'll he'll have to accelerate if he bats past the the power play and and you know he's, he's, they're only one down none down then he, it is his job he, he's mm -hmm. got all the shots in the book KL uh, you just have to be you just you can't be afraid to get out and and you know that's sometimes what I see with some of the established players they just at times they're afraid to get out mm. it's not that they don't have the shots because they have all the shots yes. in the book and when we were there in uh, in the UAE when he scored that hundred and what was it 30 something in Dubai it was unbelievable mm. uh, but you know so he's got every shot in the book sometimes you just got to take a risk now and then but you need the other players in your team to help you out when you're taking those risks quickly then the players to watch out for something we do is it two left two left armors two spinners uh, I'm bowlers, with, of yep, course, bowlers, bowlers every time, bowlers. but I'm, I'm going to go with the matchups. Uh, Aksha, mm -hmm. um, really love him. Gun cricketer, he probably hasn't had the season he's wanted to so far. And Krunal. For you, Harsha? I just like watching Nicholas Puran, man. And I think if if they've got to get these 170, 180s consistently, Puran's got to do that. I only hope they don't do what Sunrise are doing with Klaassen and the others, just taking a very, very good player and using him only in the back few yeah. overs as a finisher. Puran can give you 100 yes. if, he, mm. if he's going up. So I'd like to see better use of Puran. He's my, he's my player to watch out for. And in, uh, in Delhi, I really want to see Rishabh Pant. The other day he came out to bat and I just think for him recovery, I don't know how he's recovering from... He's had such intense surgery. Mm. But he was playing a form of French cricket almost. Yeah. He wasn't moving his feet. He was, he was all hands, all hands, it, no it feet. It wasn't good to watch, was it? Yeah. So I'd like to see how he's come out of that yeah. because he's, he's so invaluable to their cause. He has a great IPL. 
it bodes well for India. Bodes well for India. Uh, now we have to do our rituals. We have to answer the board question. Is Mr. CBSE yeah. Bhattacharya's question that has to be answered? Uh, who's the first Indian to score a century and take three wickets in the same ODI? Mm. Uh, the answer uh, we will get to quickly. Like uh, Mr. Bogle said, I can't take the name of this know? answer. Did you know? No. Did you know? Yeah. Oh. Can't take the name of the was it Tendulkar person? Let's have a no, look at the answer. I don't think it was. Okay. Oh, ah, I thought see. it was. Robin, Robin Singh. Singh in 1997 versus Sri Lanka. Oh, was that also the game where J Ajay Jadeja got a hundred? Might have been a game where both of them got hundreds. Him and Azaruddin got hundreds once. I was actually going to go Azaruddin as one mm -hmm. of the answers because in that World Cup of 87, he was bowling a little bit and he was taking a few wickets, but I don't know if he got a hundred. Mm. Robin Singh, good call. Why Robin Singh today? With joy, there's always a There's connection. always a Mumbai. connection. Mumbai. Mumbai connection. But he, I don't think he's in Mumbai this year. No, he, he, yeah. he has, whatever, hasn't he? So, I don't know. Okay, let's have a look at who's gotten it right. Uh, sure, there are a lot of them. Today, uh, no, not allowed. Gopala Krishnan has not gotten allowed. it. Not allowed. He's a, he's a professional. You can't allow Arun to win this. <laughs> hey. Who's next best? Okay. Who's next best? I'm, I'm meeting out. Arun, no, not allowed. No, no, no. no, we can't have that. Arun, <laughs> give everyone else a break, man. Just give them a break. And just watch something else. <laughs> Go and watch a movie, Arun. Watch a movie or something. Stop it with the stats, Arun. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Arun. You all have uh, both. <laughs> no. you, you, you have just been dismissed by both the first benchers because you seem to be a first bencher yourself. So I'm sorry <laughs> that you've been dismissed for this. Uh, I want to see who's been dismissed from that number one position. It's hurt me a lot. It really has because that one day when I was on top, it felt so good. <laughs> I want to see a look at... Uh, first, before we look at that, Simon, two and two. Congrats. Is it a hat trick? Because didn't you get one last night? You got the bullseye, bullseye last night. Last and night, two so that's two a today. hat trick for Simon. How many? Wow. When you were bowling? Uh, ever got one? As a youth. As, yeah. a, as youth. a youth. Yeah. Yeah, back in back in my younger days. Not in first class cricket. No. Ooh. So but that's you've got a hat trick here. Hat trick here. Well done, Simon. Let's have a look at the board now and see if you've come into the uh, Premier, League? Premier League. I've got to be in the Premier League. I've, I've, have I climbed out of Division One, please? <laughs> Okay. The okay. hat trick. I think the hat trick must okay. have done it. Uh, guys, let's have a look at I the board. I think I'm going to look away. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm looking away. Ooh. Oh, home oh, advantage. Oh, it's been on me. Ooh. Home advantage. We had one. Wow, Simon, you've caught up. I've come a long way. I was down where Hush or yeah. Michael Vaughan was yesterday. <laughs> and just, just take note, there are two bullseyes. Just have a look at that. Wow. Two bullseyes. You should. I mean, I, I, I think you need to be given some bonus here for those two bullseyes. I, I, what, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm just not going to come in tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just not going to bother. <laughs> I'm going to let someone else have a chance tomorrow. I'm not even going to bother turning up. But you do know that on days you don't come, you tend to rise up the table. Yes. Correct. Like, mm -hmm. there's a third person in the studio at the moment who mm -hmm. briefly <laughs> ascended on the day without she wasn't working. Without working, correct. Well... I, I I want to also sit at home because I I seem to do well when I'm not uh, when here at Crick Buzz. And that's but what's happened to Viru. There's an exception to the rule whether I'm here or not. I, I'm still there. <laughs> but I think more than the birthday boy who will be celebrating, more than Viru who will be celebrating, more than Simon, I think there's one Rohan Gavaskar who's finally going to say I'm off the mark because yeah, no, he's been waiting to get off the mark. He's finally off the mark. Well done, Rohan. I mean, he's he was walking around furiously in the studio because he was so nervous. He's not gotten <laughs> off the mark, so he just kept pacing down. But he's off the mark. We have taken uh, we have taken this game very seriously because uh, there are some prizes that our producers will be giving us. This was top secret information. But now that you're climbing up the charts, uh, Simon, Good. and Good tomorrow, luck. guys, is going to be a very very exciting day because uh, we are joined by. One of the, I mean, I've known, only seen him on the field. I never met him in my life. But just one of the nicest, kindest, sweetest Australians on the field. And you don't and hear that often. You don't hear that <laughs> often, do you? We're getting, we're getting you Adam Gilchrist. You might as Gilchrist. well say off the field because he was tough as nails <laughs> on the field. He didn't give you an inch on the field. Oh, he didn't give you an inch, but he was just the kind Australian. Yeah. You know, he, with with as a 90s kid, we've grown up seeing a very aggressive Australian side yeah.
but with him we always you know you felt like oh he's one of ours in spite of hitting us all over the park we didn't like him when he came and batted <laughs> but just one of the finest wicket keeper bats i'm so mm. excited that he is coming on the cricket bus panel i'm going to say this uh, you all can make fun of me but as a kid i used to have the biggest crush on adam gilchrist so fan, i'm you're very fan, excited you're fan girling are you you yeah, are fan girling time, at the moment big time big time uh, so he comes can we get a single close up please <laughs> <laughs> this is serious fan girl yeah, yeah, yeah big time big time no, because no, be great, it was be great. He's, yeah. he's such a good analyst of the game as well yeah. gilly uh, and terrific to work with um knows the game well played a lot of uh the the this tournament so in years gone by so looking forward to having him here you still have a name to Oh, Mr. Adam Gilchrist, <laughs> I did. Adam Gilchrist comes in, and he, of course, yeah. has been an IPL winner. I've had the pleasure of working with Gilly on on Fox Sport in Australia for a while. Uh, moved to being a presenter, but a very humble presenter. And you'll enjoy every one of you on on Cricket Buzz. You'll enjoy Gilly's uh, insights. Remember, he's also an IPL winning captain. Mm-hmm. So, uh, in 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 the what second season? the second season mm-hmm. when the yeah. deccan charge when yep. the deccan charge was won mm-hmm. it then towards the tail end of his career worked uh, uh, played up up at kings and i think i don't remember one he, game at kings didn't he get a wicket in his last last ever game yes got a he, wicket of, was it his last game his was last his last game last of ever? his last game of this tournament ever i think it was in durhamshala mm-hmm. pretty yes. sure i was doing the game and he they were nine down and he got a wicket oh it might, wasn't it was the last. only ball he's ever bowled that can be a joy factor i think we can I use think it i think it's the only ball because i just as michael talks about the tendulkar wicket i think <laughs> gilly loves talking about <laughs> that one wicket that, one that he wicket. had i think it was harbhajan singh he, he <laughs> when he, he yeah. got that wicket but yeah he is yeah. is he's, he's a one he, he loves cricket he's a big student of the game and there is a very cheeky impish side to him which you see on the podcasts uh-huh. which is starting yeah. to emerge so yeah looking forward to having uh, having gilly Two people with that impish sense of humour, Sean Pollock and him. Yes. Not not like Dooley, direct and straight <laughs> to the point. <laughs> well, he he goes for the bullseye. We know that, know. right? He goes for the bullseye. That's what he does. Uh, well, so don't forget to join us tomorrow because there is going to be Mr. Harsha Bogle. Adam Gilchrist and Gaurav Kapoor tomorrow it's going to be a lot of fun uh, Simon and I will have a popcorn at home and we'll be watching Cricket Buzz live so please join in tomorrow at 7 pm and watch this trio thank you so much for this wonderful day for this yes. not such a blockbuster game that uh, we had on the field but we had in the stadium so i mean in the Cricket Buzz stadium so thank you so much and uh, we will see you all tomorrow at 7 pm that's all for now good night and good bye जयपुर